Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, potentially I may have discovered Genius, but I might not have. Maybe this is something which has been overlooked, I'm not entirely sure, but if you're someone who's installing Windows 11 and you're getting to the point where you don't want to use a Microsoft account, and there's all those videos around saying how to use the OOB hack in the Start MS CHX, whatever, etc., etc., and potentially you can't do it because it says you have to press shift and F10 or control shift F10 or function shift F10 to get the command prompt up to run these commands. But some people are still saying that they can't do it for some reason. And I'm not entirely sure why that is. I personally haven't come across this yet, but it seems there's a number of you that are having it from the comments we're getting from various videos. So I thought there must be a way to actually remedy that as well. So this video is gonna show you how to use two different commands to bypass the Windows account registration requirement for new Windows 11 setups. And for those of you that are struggling with the whole uh, Shift F10 thing to get the command prompt, just another little trick to get that up, which I'm not sure why it's been overlooked. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't, who knows? Anyway, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. Okay, so we're on our Windows 11 setup. Now this is convenient because I've got a new PC which I'm trying to sell, so I need to do a fresh install. So let's go ahead and go through the process and we'll see if this works or not. So we'll go through all the usual things, select our options. Yes, everything will be deleted. I don't have a product key currently. So now it's gonna detect the drive and also ask which version we want. So I'll go with 11 Pro because that's what I generally tend to use. And we have to accept the agreements blindly as we generally tend to. Now it's searching for disks. Now the disk I've got in here has actually got a Windows install on it. So I'm actually gonna go through the process of preparing that. So for some of you, this may also be useful. So essentially disk zero is normally gonna be the top MVME drive or your main SSD. So all you need to do is just delete all of the partitions on that particular drive. And it'll say unpartition space. So just basically clear all of it. So you've just got one entry saying disk zero. And one more to go. You don't need to do disk one, that's our USB drive, so that's fine. So I've got our two terabyte drive, there we go. So that is unallocated space. So we'll click on next and we'll begin the process. I will be fast forwarding through some of this process because you don't necessarily need to see it all. Uh, so I'm not gonna bore you to tears with it all. So we'll wait until we get to the uh, next part, which is generally gonna be the first reboot. Now for this, I'm leaving my network cable connected. Also the Wi-Fi is there. It hasn't got the Wi-Fi password obviously because it's a fresh install, but the internet is connected. So if there was any way that it was gonna try and prevent this from happening, then it would happen. So. Let's just be patient and uh, we'll come back when we've got something to do. So at this point now we have to set up the account. So we have options, uh, how do you want to do it? So most people will do the setup for personal use because obviously that makes sense. And it does say there, use a personal Microsoft account to get set up and have full control over this device or set up for work or school. Now generally I do the work or school and then when we come to this second option, I choose sign in options and I choose uh, domain join instead. I'm not on a domain, but if you do that, you can set up a local account. But for a lot of people, they do it the other way. So set up for personal use. So click on next. And it's gonna say sign into your Microsoft account. So at this point, normally you would do shift and F10, which still appears to work. So you could go ahead and type in the commands. Now the commands themselves are very straightforward and simple. We'll take a look at those shortly. But something which I thought, if people are having trouble with this and they can't get that command prompt up, what you could do is do Control, Shift, and Escape. And that brings up your Windows Task Manager, which will be running in the background. So if you choose Run a New Task and type in cmd.exe and make sure that you create this task with admin privileges and click OK, boom, you get the admin command prompt. So then you can actually type in the specific things you want to do. So if you do OOBE backslash bypass NRO, you could do it that way, press enter and it will do the reboot. Or alternatively, if that doesn't work for some reason, you can try doing the start MS dash CXH colon local only. And um, if you do that, press enter, it should just say, okay, we don't want an account. 
And yeah, there we go. We're just going to come up with this, create a user for this PC. So that would give you a local account option. So there you go. There are three options you've got. So you've got the out of box experience bypass NRO, if it still works for you. Alternatively, you've got the start MS dash CXH colon local only. And obviously the shift F10 thing, if for some reason yours doesn't work as mine seems to, but you can do control shift and escape to bring up task manager, run a new task, create with admin privileges, boom, there you go. You've got an administrator level command prompt. So hopefully some of these methods somewhere along the line, you'll find this useful if you're getting stuck with one or the other. I guess it's going to be one of those things we're just uh, maintaining a toolbox of tricks to try and uh, circumvent the Microsoft account login. So yeah, sorry this has been a bit of a long meandering video, but hopefully one of those solutions will work for you. If for some reason it doesn't, please feel free to let me know in the comments section below, or alternatively, if you want a much quicker response, head over to our Discord, and uh, I'll probably be able to answer you whilst you're actually at your computer. So if you want a quick response, do try that. Uh, also, if you want to help support the channel, don't forget all the links below for various things. And also, if you need a Windows license key for a new Windows 11 installation, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com forward slash Mike's Unboxing. Use the discount code Mike's Unboxing and you'll get a further 10% off their ridiculously cheap prices. Anyway, you will be able to get a Windows 11 professional license key for under £3 at the moment at the time of recording. Fantastic value for money. Do check it out. But I think that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe hit the subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.